Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from it. So we saw so many different ways by different organisms adjust so that they can live in a particular environment. Some of them regulate, some can conform, some migrate while others suspend for a specific period of time. Now when we talk about so much of adaptation, so these are all ways or, uh, organisms adapt. So adaptations are features and habits of organisms to better suit to an environment. Now a lot of organisms they behave in specific ways to adjust to the environment. A lot of them have certain features within their body. So those features have developed with evolution and those features help them to suit to a particular environment. So in, on the screen you can see two examples. One is for the camel, the other one is for the bear. So both of them are very much different from each other both structurally, physically and uh, like with regards to the metabolic activities happening within their body. So let's talk about uh, the camel. In case of camel, they live in deserts where there is scarcity of water and I am sure you would, you would know this that a camel can survive without water for even 14 to 20 days. Now which is not possible for most of the animals including human beings can we live without water for a very long time we can't but the camels can similarly the camels also have special uh, structures on their feet because of which they can walk very easily on sand so these are kind of changes which are there in camel now why is camel able to uh, you know uh, they live without water for such a long time because within the camel's body there is a mechanism through which it can store water for future use so during emergency that water from inside its body itself can be utilized so that means different organisms are adapted in different ways you talk about the bear especially the polar bears you will see that they are white in color and they have a thick fur and a layer of additional fat to provide them insulation because they need to survive in extremely cold climate so they need to have mechanisms which will provide them warmth so let's talk about the adaptations of polar bear thick fur which keep them warm white in color that helps them to catch their prey and also help them from attack from any other organism because the background color in polar regions is also white because it is completely covered with snow so the white color of polar bear help them not to be seen very easily by its prey fat layer under the skin and fat again provides an additional insulation to the body wide and large paws which help them to uh, you know to commute over snow covered areas strong ability to smell this again helps them to catch their prey so they can smell and sense the presence of their prey in the vicinity small ears now if the, you if any organism has big ears then the loss of heat through the ears would also be more now here the animal wants more and more heat to be present within its body so that it can survive or it can overcome the cold weather. So that's why they have small ears so that the heat loss through the ears is very less. They have sharp teeth which help them to eat other animals. Similarly when you look at the adaptation of camel so that is that it is going to be very much different from that of the polar bear. For example, camel have large feet which is padded in a special way that helps it to walk over the sand. Bushy eyelashes. Why do they need to have bushy eyelashes? Because they live in desert areas where sand, with wind sand keeps flying away here and there. So it's their bushy eyelashes prevent sand from entering inside their eye. So that's the benefit. They have a hump to which is used to store water and that can be used for future use because deserts generally have scarcity of water. So that means they can conserve so much of water. They have a thick coat which again helps them to overcome the cold nights in desert. In desert you also see that the plants which are found there are very much different from those which are found in the forest areas. So, these plants are speci specifically uh, they have adapted so that they can survive in the desert. So what are the adaptations? So in many of these plants, especially cactus, you can see that leaves have been modified to spines. You know why? Because the loss of water from the spine is less but the loss of water from leaves is more. 
the process of transpiration where water is lost from the surface of the leaves through the stomata. So that's why the leaves have been modified to spines. Stomata is located in deep pits. So stomata is present deep inside so that if the stomata is present on the outside, then again the water loss through stomata will keep happening more frequently. So that is why they are present in deep pits so that they are not in direct uh, contact with the atmosphere and therefore the loss of water through the, uh, through the stomata would be less. So transpiration rate will be less and therefore there will be minimum water loss. Stomata closed during the day. The stomata doesn't open during the day at all. So obviously if it doesn't open there can be no loss of water. So all these modifications are done to ensure that the water loss is reduced. So that is the main agenda in case of desert plants because we want plants and animals which survive in the desert should be capable of surviving with less requirement of water. So that, that's how. Now the question is who designed these plants? So these plants have evolved on their own in the past thousands of years and gradually these changes have come into them uh, in order to adapt to the particular environment like how we have learned the lesson on evolution right so there we saw that how everything all the living organisms that we see today you talk about animals plants birds insects anything they all origin had a common ancestor once upon a time so all the changes had happened on its own the animals wanted to survive that's how they started adapting and in the course of adaptation certain new features got added to that organism so that's how these adaptations have also taken place in the desert plants thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.